What's up, Nami and Motor Fanatics? This is Steven, and I'm back with a video analysis. And this time, I'm going to be analyzing the video for Nami's song, Golden Touch. And Abax was super nice this time around and decided to post the entire video for Golden Touch. So when I saw that, I'm like, okay, that's what's up, and let me watch this. <clears throat> but have you guys seen this video? Some people are just ranting and raving how awesome and creative this video is, you know? And I'm like, really? Like, am I missing something? Am I missing something? <clears throat> I'm going to see if I can go through each part of this video with y'all. Um, what I'm going to do is play this video, and I'm going to play it on mute so that I don't get no, um, you know, citations, copyright citations or anything. But I'm going to try and point out every part of this video and analyze it from there. All right, here I go. All right, so the video starts off with Namie and some dude flipping the thing over and saying Golden Touch. And the video is trying to, I guess, incorporate you into it. So it's like, you know, um, keep touching while watching. And there's counting down. And then the video starts. And then we got some balloons in this video for some reason. Um, and they're popping, and there's some dude doing a skateboard trick in this video. Then the turntable. Okay, yeah, I get that. Um, then we got the golden touch. Then we got a dog in the video for some reason. Then we got somebody working at old school television with Namie on it. Okay, that's cool with Namie. Then we got a tower of cards that breaks down. Then we got some monster in a sewer. Then we got a bird or whatever. Then we got a dude that was spray printed. Spray painted gold, then the letters of Moro are coming out, Namie's name. Then we got a clown who is in the video, stole my hairstyle. Uh, then we got a maze, then we got some, um, like, some coins. But at that part, Namie says, like, you know, she feels like a meal when this person is by her side. So, I'm like, those coins don't add up to a meal, you know? And also, technically, I think a meal, at least in Spanish, a meal is a thousand. I think Namie wants it to mean a million. Maybe she was going off that little Wayne record, you know, like a milli, a milli, milli, that thing, you know, that record. <clears throat> you know, I give Namie a pass on that because she, most likely, most likely she didn't write the song. And as well, um, you know, for some people, a meal is short for a million. But for some other people, particularly at least Spanish-speaking people, a meal is a thousand. <clears throat> All right, back to this awesome, awesome video here. All right, um, all right. So we got a disco ball and basketball, and then we got some like things popping out of holes, and then bam, it hit gets hit. Then we got some like a puddle. Then we got some like domino looking things that spell out Nami Immortal when they're pushed over. Then we got some jello that's red that's shaking and jiggling. Then we got some karaoke. You got the golden touch. You got the gold. Then we got um, a dude doing a robot who gets electrocuted. Good. Then we got some folks, um, a dude in glasses, um, you know, some animals um, behind the blinds. And a hot dog with some mustard on it. Um, I don't know what these things are. Um, rotten potatoes dancing. Um, two goldfish. Okay. All right. I don't know what these goldfish really. I mean, they're gold, but what else? Then we got a slingshot. Some dude working a slingshot. Then we got um, a shot of the solar system. Um, I don't know what anything this. What does uh, what does the, the dude popping some bubble gum? Then a globe, like what the what the hell does this guy do with Golden Touch? Then we got like uh like a rainbow of colors. Then we got some fashion chick um, posing, and then we got some more karaoke. You got the Golden Touch. Then we got a watermelon slice um in half. Then we got a cat. Look cute though. The cat does look kind of cute. Um. Then we got um some music machine. Then um a turntable. Um like a record player. Then we got some candles, um, and they're being lit. And then we got some dude doing um, karate, you know, and he's purple. 
Then we got some Space Invaders come in. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't again. I don't know what it has to do with the song Golden Touch. Then we have an hydrant overflowing with water. Then it stops. Then it starts overflowing again. Then we got somebody breaking a champagne glass. And then we got some people's fingers like turning. Blah blah blah. Then we have a unicorn. And I'll pause it there for a minute. Okay, that unicorn silhouette was probably one of the cooler, probably one of the coolest things in the video. But once you turn on the light and show that, you know, show the actual silhouette, it ain't cool no more. But I did like the unicorn silhouette. But again, what does what does this gotta do with anything though? This don't got nothing to do with Golden Touch. This is just seems like a lot of these images just seem pretty random you know <clears throat> a lot of them uh, let's continue let's it's only a we're really close to the end y'all we're really close to the end of this video all right here we go then some du two dudes um were like posing as a unicorn then we got some like music machine thing again turning up and down the volume then we got some more karaoke you got the golden touch. You got the golden touch. And then we got somebody breaking open an egg with like glitter in it and stuff. And then we got some bubbles. Pop, one pop. Then we got somebody playing some like um, Asian Japanese game, board game. Then somebody spray painting a statue gold. Then at the end, Nami um, graces us with her presence and touches the screen. And that's cool, you know. I'm glad that Namie decided to make a cameo in her own video, you know. But overall, I'm just like, you know, this video, this is, okay. For me, I ain't really feeling this video. The one thing, the one good thing about this whole video is that Avex posted the entire video. So we got to hear the entire song for Golden Touch. That's the good thing. Um, but this video could be for pretty much any other song on this album almost. Just because it doesn't seem like it has a quality that is unique to the song Golden Touch. And hmm, the song Golden Touch is, seems like one of the one of the strongest songs on the album. It's definitely like on the sh one of the songs that are on or one of the songs that is on the stronger side of the album. And this video didn't do the song justice, you know. And this song is a good song, you know. <clears throat> this song also has a, um, a lot of Japanese in it too, um, considering. Um, that Nami has been singing more so in English lately. Um, but overall, I was, you know, I'm not, like some people, at least in the comments section, I'm guessing those people probably are like super stands. But I wasn't really feeling this video. I think it sort of came off as like lazy, you know. This is, like, if you're going to do a video that is sort of animated, I guess, like, I guess, like, the video lacked a quality, or lacked a special quality that made it unique to Golden Touch. As well, I think Namie could have just put together a video with her in it, like she's done for the other videos for the album. Um, this video is actually reminiscent of the video for um, Alive from the album Feel. <clears throat> Except, you know, I did give that video some um, flack because, you know, it is one of those videos that probably could have been for any other song on the album. But, it did at least show a picture of Nami throughout the video. Here, like, if you jumped into this video, like, let's say you just um, were changing channels on a television or your television. And you happen to run across the music video for Golden Touch. Would you know this was by Nami Amuru? Just based on the video. Like, of course, the song, if you know the song, then yeah, you know. 
But based on the video, you wouldn't know. Like, you'd be like, okay, who's the artist? You know? And that's part of the issue. Like, who is the artist here? You know? Where's she at? Where Nami at? But this video is easy to bash. Um, I guess the one good thing about this video, um, besides being able to hear the entire song, is maybe... Um, I don't know. You know, can you guys tell me what was one good thing about the video? You know, um, you got to see Nami at the end, Nami at the end of the video. That's kind of good. <clears throat> but um, I think you know, I think mm, the video is you know, I think this is probably def like the weakest video by far from the videos. This video makes the video for a brighter day look like a cinematic masterpiece that um, is worthy of like five Oscars. It's that it's that bad, you know. It makes brighter day the video for brighter day look like um, some Emmy award winning music video or. I guess they don't give Emmys for music videos, but it's just that bad that they would give an Emmy because it makes that it makes the video look that good that they would give an Emmy or an Oscar to a music video. You know, <clears throat> it's you know it's I ain't feeling it. You know I ain't feeling it. Are you guys feeling this video? You know. Are you feeling the lack of Namie? Are you feeling Namie's laziness? And as well, I don't really think Namie has a reason to be lazy. I think, like, you know, if she was on tour and had to, and this was a single, because I know sometimes some artists release singles while they're on tour and they may be sort of exhausted from the tour or either have other obligations that they have to do, but do or deal with. So sometimes they may do an animated music video or something like that where they're not in the video and they just have other people or like, you know, an animated video in this place. <clears throat> like, I can understand that, you know. If you were just so busy that you couldn't do a music video, but I'm thinking like, okay, these music videos are being made while, like, before you go on tour, though. You know, and Nami hasn't been doing any promotional activities as far as I know, as far as, you know, doing interviews or appearing on television and doing performances. So I'm like, OK, like you don't got time to make a music video that's actually good and can complement the song. All right. I could go on and on, but let me just, you know, in this and put this to an end as you guys can figure um, I ain't feeling the music video I don't like it um, I think Nami uh, was being lazy and took the easy way, easy way out um, so yeah there you got it um, but the song is cool I like the song you know too bad the music video can it compliment or better compliment the song <clears throat> and if you notice Nami is actually singing in sort of a different way. She's kind of singing more so in kind of like this kind of like baby dollish type of voice, you know. Um, somewhat reminiscent of, you know, Britney Spears' baby doll voice, but not really. You know, it's, you know, it's sort of like that. But it's sort of similar. <clears throat> but I've said all i got to say. Thanks a lot for watching. Feel free to comment. Feel free to subscribe. Feel free to give me a thumbs up, y'all. The feedback and support are extremely appreciated and extremely valued. Until the next video analysis, adios and goodbye for now. Namie's video ain't got the golden touch. This video ain't got the golden touch. It got the rusty touch. It got the, it got the, it got the, mm. it's the type of video that makes you not want to listen, not want to watch it. Ooh, baby. It's a type of video that makes you want to turn the channel on.
change the video wherever you watching yo whether it's youtube ooh whether it's tv or your tube yeah mm -mm 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 -mm. but again thanks a lot for watching adios and goodbye for now